with springtime coming up, I'm looking for more ways to get outside and really enjoy the outdoors. And if I get a good workout in the process, awesome. So when Brazan offered to send a couple of stepper bikes in exchange for a review, I jumped on the opportunity. I have a beach cruiser, I rarely use it, and the reason is um, you're sitting the whole time, you know, you're kind of hunched over like this, and it kind of hurts the lower back after a while. So the idea of standing upright and doing a stepping motion really appealed to me. So I have the W16 and the T3, both of which are behind me, and I wanted to take you through some of the really cool features about each bike, and then also take you through the putting together process because both bikes came partially assembled. So I wanted to share my thoughts with you on that, take you through a test drive <laughs> or a test ride and show you how easy they are to ride and then share a discount code with you guys if you want to check it out. So let's take a look at these shiny new bikes, shall we? Both bikes were shipped via Amazon and it was fast and free shipping. So that part was awesome. The T3 came a little less assembled than the W16. And there were quite a few more parts to it because the pedals operate independently. So we laid all the parts out. We looked at both instruction manuals and, and it was weird that it had two instruction manuals because it made it a little bit harder to follow. But once we kind of started putting it together, it was a lot easier to keep going. Um, these two pedals operate independently. So there was uh, a spring on each side and a bike chain. The quality of the parts is awesome. I wish some of the connecting parts were a little bit sturdier and the weight limit can be a bit of an issue for someone who is 220 pounds or more. Um, the weight limit is 220 pounds. I didn't have a problem riding the bike, but Evan was a little less confident riding because he was towards the top of the weight limit. So you can see we're trying to put together the brakes. Everything is there. So um, they include all of the tools, which is awesome. So you don't have to go searching <laughs> for a Phillips head screwdriver to put the thing together. Yeah, so just making sure everything is tight, connected. The only thing they don't include is the bike pump, which is not really a problem. And took us about 35 minutes to put this bike together. So it did take a little bit more time. Here's the W16. This is the smaller of the two bikes, less parts. So once we got all the parts out, there was one instruction manual, super, super easy. It took less than 10 minutes to put together. This bike I felt was a bit sturdier, but it also has the 220 pound weight limit. So that's something to keep in mind here. And construction on this one, I feel was a bit sturdier than the T3 bike, but both are a blast to ride. T3 is the larger of the two bikes. This one has larger tires, larger stepper, and it sits a bit higher than the W16 does. Now you'll notice as I zoom in on these pedals here, or the steppers, that each stepper has an independent chain and an independent spring. This feature is really cool because these pedals operate independently. So if you want to propel the bike with just one leg, you can do that. So you can just do all lefts or you can do all rights. And if you're feeling really froggy, <laughs> you can jump up and down on the pedals at the same time. This gives you a crazy good workout and it's actually kind of fun. And as far as balancing, I thought it would be tough to balance on it. It wasn't once you get the bike started. So getting the bike started was a little bit tricky. Um, it does have a regular bike chain on it. And another feature I like about it is you can see there are brakes down here and then you've got your front brakes, which are attached to the handlebars. Handlebars are pretty comfortable. Overall, the height's pretty comfortable. And I like the fact that there are gears so you can actually change gears if you'd like. It's kind of a cool feature. There aren't really many hills in Florida, so I don't know if I would use that too, too much. Um, as far as assembly goes, this bike was the hardest one to put together. I don't know, the instructions were a little bit tricky to figure out at first, um, but we did get it put together, obviously. And uh, it did not come with a bike pump, so you'll see we had to pump up the tires which I think is pretty standard for most bikes. But overall, it's a really neat concept. I love the idea of standing upright and it's easy to ride, easy to balance on, and uh, overall, 
pretty cool features. It does have this spot here where you can fold down the handlebars. So if you wanted to pop it in your trunk, you could easily take it with you wherever you want to go. This is the W16 or the Wing Flyer 16. It's the smaller and less expensive of the two bikes. It's a lot more simple in a few different ways. The first way, it came almost entirely assembled. We only had to put the front tire on and attach the handlebars and then attach these pedals. Now you'll notice with the pedals, the configuration is a lot simpler. So you do have a regular bike chain, but you have kind of a fixed operation here. One leg goes up, the other leg goes down. It's more like a traditional stepper. And you have smaller tires here. This one didn't come ready to go. We had to pump up the tires. It's pretty standard. You have a nice kickstand, comes in handy. Super easy to ride. This one um, was a little bit easier to get the hang of. It does not have gears. The thing I thought was a little bit odd with this one was where the handlebars and the brakes are. It's a, a little bit tough to get used to, but I did get used to it after a while. I'm just used to having the brakes out here. Um, as far as storage and portability, this one is also very portable. You have a clip right here where you can just pull it and everything folds down, fits easily into a trunk. Both bikes were a blast to ride and I like them both for different reasons. The T3 was really cool because I like jumping. I mean, I'm a jumper by nature. I ran track in college and high jump was my thing. So anything that I can jump up and down on, I'm all about. So T3 is awesome for that. And I did like the W16 for its stability. It was a lot easier to learn how to ride on. I felt a lot more stable on it. And I think for me, it's, it's not as heavy as the T3. So I think if I was to take it out, I would take it out more often just because it's a little bit simpler. So if you'd like that discount code, we'll flash it below, check it out. They're on Amazon. They did ship it super, super fast. Overall assembly wasn't too difficult. Um, you know, you have to have a little bit of an aptitude for it, <laughs> but they do include all of the tools that you'll need to put it together. So all in all, um, not that difficult. I do wish the instructions were a little bit clearer, especially for the T3. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. If there's something else you wanna see, if you like the product reviews, let me know. We'll um, do some other product reviews coming up. So thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard y'all and ride your bikes.